How you doing? Peace to the brothers and sisters. Third and final video. I'm Shu Amun Ra. I want to say have a good evening. Enjoy yourself. Relax. Relax your mind. Let your mind be free. When you rest tonight, free your mind from all activities. Understand. Do you believe you are God? Before we get into that, let's pay all respects to the Creator. Our moon. Like I always said in my videos, I try to do the best I can to, to remember that you got to be specific in what you say because people believe what they want to believe in. And even though when you try to explain to them who you are and what you're not, they seem to want to put you on a pedestal and then kick the stand from underneath you and take things the wrong way. So... I'm not your preacher, your minister, your pastor. I'm not your deacon, your reverend. I'm not your archaeologist. I'm not a scholar. No, I'm not. I'm not your scientist. I'm not your mathematician. I'm not your astronomer. Have we had this clear? I made it clear. But I know I gotta say it to you again in my next video. Because I don't know who's watching. I don't know. So every video I might have to say that because I know a lot of people be like, oh, why do you repeat the same thing? That's because you follow me. Now, I'll say it and I'll say it again. I don't want you following me. Why? Why? Why do I need you to follow me for? You can watch the video if you choose to. Take it for what it's worth. And use it. Study it. Cross-reference. I'm just your messenger. My own opinion. My studies, my research on books, videos, documentaries, I do this for my understanding, my journey, and I fulfill a glorification, and then I want to spew out this information out of the pureness of my heart. I don't want nothing from you. Why? Information is supposed to be for free. I'm not knocking on those who's making money off of it. Nah. Because if you're making money off of information and you ain't got to work for the masses, plus the masses want to try to tell you what to do every five minutes, you know, because you get, you get, you get so many people in, in so-called positions and they want to try to tell you how to eat, sleep, and, and cock a doo do Literally. And a lot of them hide behind the doors where they go. Church, institutions, in their own apartment, at their jobs. They hide. And they become these mighty people. But in fact, they're not as soft as butter. Because they're not going to get on a video and do what we do. They ain't got that coverage to do that. They ain't gonna get on there on the video and, and try to teach the people. Huh? Because our own people is vicious. Our own people are vicious. Woo! 
They'll be on your page talking all kind of bull crap. Our people is that vicious. Real talk. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Our people are vicious. And they're only vicious because of the cycle they live in. Now don't give me the living conditions. Don't get it twisted. You live in a condi- the living condition because you choose to live back in condition. Don't blame somebody else because somebody lived better than you. That's a terrible thing to sit up there and start stating. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, I want to say this. I don't have time to sit up here and point the finger at the white men all the time. Let me make it clear. I don't have time to sit up here and constantly talk about the white men all the time. When I do that, I feel that now we're missing something. We're missing a lot of links into the history. Our history, our historic history, is a beautiful, magnificent thing to hear. But, are we telling our history straight down the narrow path? Are we talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly? Are we talking about the wonders of its artifacts? Are we talking about, did they have slaves to put those artifacts together? Or did they pay people to build these artifacts? There were mighty dynasties, many and mighty dynasties, different parts of the world. Some people go, there ain't no Jesus. But when you actually look at it, Jesus, the word Jesus, was created. Why was it necessary to change the word Jesus, I mean, had the word Jesus taken from its content of Yoshaha, Yoshaha, like Yahweh. Yahweh is the name of God, right? Some people call God the Lord. Some people call God. Yahweh is is the word for God, which is Hebrew, according to the story. Then you got Jehovah, Jehovah. That's supposed to be the Christian conception. That's supposed to be the name of the Creator. You got Ra. Ra means God. But the African tradition understood the conception of the Creator. Man, after time, literally took the conception of the African spirituality system and formed God so they can see God through words and through a picture. When you look at Christianity in the white eye conception, they literally draw God as an old man with gray hair. <laughs> and he's in the sky looking down. He, they, give, they put an image on, on the creator. No man have seen the unknown. No man have seen what God looks like on the creator. So how in the world you're going to put a picture and say, this is God. 
And some of you okie don't Negroes believe it. You are that deep into the slave mentality. Your mind is so deep caught up in rich it's the fear in your blood cells, in your DNA. How you can believe an image that you see, and then there's many pictures of an image that you see, and believe each one of them is God. Is God. But you won't believe that God could be you. That you in the image of the creator. In the Bible that you read. It tells you this. And so many religions. Constantly changes. The conception. How does a man. And a woman. Which I said in the second video. The energy level that it takes to build up the sperm and the egg and the sperm goes up into the woman and fights its way up to the egg. And the big explosion boom. Then this woman inside her, she feels life begins to take place. This is called creation. The power that the unknown have given you and I to create life. And then to begin to teach this life form the ways of life. You tell me, you tell me that you're not a god on this earth. What gives you power when your child is hurting or in trouble? You become mighty powerful to save your child from being hurt or to die. You will lose your life to save your child. You will sacrifice yourself for your child. You will take thousands of lives for your child. Who gives you power? Where does it come from? You don't even know the power you possess. You are energy life form. The flesh is just a shell. And your energy life form will quadruple itself when is he then help that needs help or it's trying to protect huh? how do you know someone is watching you how do you know that you can sense someone watching you and then you turn to that that direction and you notice you catch them looking at you and you go what are they looking at and they turn away how do you know this? Because you can feel the energy. You can't see it. But you can feel the frequency flowing around you. The yin and the yang of this force. Which one is coming at you? Good or evil? Maybe they both are coming at the same time. But you only can recognize the one that's making you feel uncomfortable uncomfortable you don't understand because you are following man made religion get these black history flashcards and see the wonders of the mind each individual's true power.
See, people will sit there and say, oh, um, you allow things to go on and you allow this and you allow that. Ain't nobody allowed a goddamn thing. See, you don't understand your power. You can manipulate your destination. I'll say it again. You can manipulate your destination. As long as you don't allow someone else to try to inject the information for you to detour your, in, your destination. You stay on it. Once you make the claim that what you, this is what you want to do. For example, you go, I'm going to get my own apartment. I'm going to get my own apartment. You'll say this when you're about, let's say about 13, 14 years old. I'm going to get my own apartment. And then all of a sudden, you got your own apartment. Who did that? You already claimed it. You already believed it. You just manifested into reality. You did that. And you got some people, they'll go, oh, I'm going to get my own apartment. I'm going to get my own apartment. But they don't manifest it because they don't believe it. And then they don't want to go for it. Because they want to live off of somebody else's fucking um, back, if you will. Remember that. Your destination is according to you. Huh? Your destination is according to you. The Willie Lynch letters. Who brought the slaves to America? Then is the breaking the curse of the Willie Lynch. Yes, I've been showing you the videos. I've been showing, I mean, excuse me. I've been showing you these books in each video. Because I'm showing you because I want you to get the book. Our people. It's not that we're in trouble. It's that we're lazy. We just, we just accept. We just sex. Too many of our people just accept life the way it is. And you don't have to. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do what you want to do. That's your life. But you're more than what you think you is. And I don't think a lot of you understand that. You are more. Claim what you want. Claim to be who you want. I got so powerful up in here. I could be around a racist motherfucker all day. Excuse my French. Did I hurt your ears? I could be around a person that's racist. But I'm so powerful up in here. You can't detect my true nature. It's true power. My true diabolical mind. You can't. You got black people who tries to use their powers to try to hurt you. Every day. Try to manipulate you. I got one for you. Why does this why does this take place? Why do other blacks hurt other blacks? And I don't care what language you are, what language you take, what language you speak. Black man is a black man, is a black woman is a black woman. Light-skinned black man, light-skinned black woman. And this battle of I'm better than you, I'm greater than you. Hmm? Because someone told you this? Ain't no one's better than no one. You all are on your journey. You all on your journey. When it's all said and done, what are you gonna do? You better live this life till the wheels fall off, till your flesh cannot take it no more. I've learned this from my mother. My mother's almost 80 years old. And I'm telling you, this woman she is a fighter. My mother is a fighter. 
And when I look at her, and with the shoes that she wore, that makes me change my whole conception of how to live. Not according to your boss. Not according to um, someone that's trying to tell you how to live in religion. You live to the best of your ability because the creator has put all this information in you. It starts off from the man and the woman energy force when they get together and they're happy. Happy consummation. And that man ejaculates. There's no one guiding it. There's no one says, go this way, sperm. There's the egg. No one's guiding it. How does the sperm knows how to get to the egg? You don't think about nothing like that, do you? You don't think about nothing like that. How does the sperm know to go to the egg? This has been happening for thousands and thousands. It's possible millions of years. The same conception with freaking animals. How does the sperm know to reach to the egg? Fight to get in, to get to it. And then explosion, boom. Life, life. I, I, don't, I don't think you truly understand. I don't think that you really grasp that, grasp, grasp that science part of it. How this sperm that's in you. What does you think the sperm comes from the cells from your balls? Nah, it comes from your brain that flows down your spinal cord. It travels because of the energy that you bring to develop this, this sperm, which has thousands of sperms going to get to, towards this egg that sits there. But only one, uh, it's possible two, and they can split up to two and three, four babies. Do you understand what I'm talking about? The life of what we create between the man and the woman. How does the sperm knows this? It travels up the canal to reach forward. It is searching for the egg. And when it hits the egg, it's breaking its its its, the, its um barrel and then, then it splits and it hits it and kaboom. Y'all don't understand the science of this. I said it again. Do you know who you really are? Man, the system, the masses have screwed you up so bad. You believe you need to run to the doctors at every little thing. I'm not going to take the pain. I ain't going to deal with the pain. You are more powerful than the pain because you don't believe it. Your mind subconsciously can take the pain away. And if it gets to the point that's too, it's too strong, that means something's wrong. Now, I'm not saying man-made medicine's not good for you. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying this. That you take man-made medicine when it is absolutely necessary. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm, gonna, I'm about to throw, blow your mind away. If you don't know already. Those Shaolin monks. Those Buddhists. 
You ever heard them taking aspirin and painkillers? When they train, they train a physical regimen, and especially with the mind. They, they mind meditation. Their mind meditation is so powerful. They have to learn these techniques. It ain't got nothing to do with no, no China man or Japanese man. This stuff been going on for thousands of years. It's training. You can overcome things. You play on the four gods of a populace that take over. The four gods, money, sex, religion, and politics. They dominate you. And then our own people, not everyone, but a nice percentage, help the masses of people for you to follow suit, for you to not to believe in who you are. They don't want you to believe in who you are, but I will show you so many great people who made that stand. Huh? You remember this picture? This is the picture 1968 Olympics black power fist. Hmm? I showed you this before. You know who this is? The first one. The first cowboy. Huh? You know who this is? Benjamin Ben Banker. Huh? So I told you to get these flashcards. Barack Obama, he believes going to be the first United States of America president. Because we already had a black president before. Bob Marley got shot. He got shot, left the hospital, and still went to the concert and performed. Now, now, I know some of you have heard about that. But it's true. Do your research. He said it himself. He had an obligation to tell to the people. Bob Marley. Huh? You know how much power it took to do that? And then the energy force that came back to him from the people who gave him energy to stand in and do that concert. He, he listen, they understood what happened to him. They were trying to take his life. You see how people try to take a person's life for believing what they believe in? Huh? Angela Davis. Huh? Betsy Coleman. You don't think black people was flying planes? They don't tell you this stuff. Who are you? The Black Wall Street, one of them. Look at it. Black owned. Black Wall Street. They don't want to tell you about stuff like this. Carter G. Woodson. Sorry. Get your cards. He's black owned. So far that I know of. Claudette Calvin. Civil rights movement. 1955. At only 15 years she refused to move from the seat of the Montgomery bound segregated bus. Sounds familiar? Dick Gregory, who was a comedian, became an activist. And also learn how to cook. Dick Gregory lived a long ass time. He did now. Come on. I got I, I can continue on if I want. Because of time, I'll probably show you in my school lessons. Go do it in my school. I have school on Sunday. My brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses, kings and queens. You ain't gonna know nothing if you don't start moving forward and doing what you gotta do. You see me in my elements, in my garment, my symbols? Because if you wanna change, you gotta change from the inside out. 
You got to become what you believe. Become what you believe. Don't act like, oh, I, I read the books. You still watch, you still wearing Gucci clothing and all these famous masses people who don't really care about you, but you don't want to wear none of these garments. You don't want to wear none of these rings, none of these bracelets. Huh? I'm a little uncomfortable with that. You walking on the thin line between love and hate. You got to go all the way. Become who you say. A lot of you don't become who you say because you know why? Because you rather listen to your mother, your father, whose mind is corrupted to a degree. Or somebody at the job, or somebody at the church, or somebody your neighbor putting pressure on you. Then you ain't as strong as you thought you was. Real talk. Black cards, black spec cards. You still caught up in the Willie Lynch. Escape from the Willie Lynch. Break the curse of the Willie Lynch. Yo, real talk? I'm out. I'm out. And see you later. Hope you learned something. Shoot, I'm in rock. And I'm out. Get these.